the Spiderco Triangle Sharp Maker. Yep, I just picked one up and we're going to play with this and see how it works. I'm going to do this review a little bit different. Rather than sit down and review the product and, and go over the normal song and dance, what I've done is I've taken the, the Rat One folder from Ontario and I have been using this knife extremely heavy as of late. I've been using this thing to oh, carve wood to practice my fire making skills to get some uh, tinder going. I also use this knife to cut a whole bunch of cardboard. Some just for demonstration purposes and some I have this old big huge Christmas tree box that I needed getting rid of. So I took that out and I chopped that up with the Ontario Rat 1. So the still on this is OS 8 and what we're going to do is kind of demonstrate it here. I will demonstrate. Here's some paper. Here's a cut test. Okay, kind of works there. A little bit. You can see it's not working as well as maybe you'd like. You can see these. I did these earlier. You can I'll get it up real close to the camera here. You can see where it just uh, instead of really cutting it, it more tore it. So what we're gonna do? I have never used this. I just got it today in the mail. I broke it out of its uh, packaging and we're going to give it a go because I think one of the main things, at least for me, why I wanted to purchase this is it's supposed to be user friendly and have this angle already set in for you so there's not a lot of guesswork in trying to get the proper angle on your blade. So real quick, comes with these two, uh, I guess they're medium grit rods, two fine grit and these two brass rods, these are to help protect your hands here so as you're sharpening you accidentally come down you run into these rods instead. And we're just going to go. So it also comes with that CD, Let's see if I've got it here, it comes with a CD and a booklet. Here's your CD, DVD I guess, sorry, and your booklet and both of these kind of describe what to do and how to use it. So here we go. We're going to do uh, 20. Okay, there's 20 that side. Now, what you're then instructed to do is turn these so we've got the flat side instead of use, using the edge, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do 20 more. Again, this is my first time using it, and that's kind of what I'm seeing. A lot of the uh, sharpening stones that I've used in the past, it takes some getting used to and some skill. All right. There's 40 with that side, and I can tell you right now, I can already feel a difference. Down here on this end of the blade, I can really feel a difference on the belly. And that's where I did most of my cutting. And that's probably where it's going to be most damaged. I'm not feeling as much difference there. So maybe I'll go back and uh, just touch that up just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. All right, so supposedly I've completed the first two steps. So we're going to put those aside. We're going to get out the fine stones. And we're going to do 20 more on the edge, each side. And then we'll turn and we'll do 20 on a flat side as well, each side. Okay, there's 20 done on the corner of the stones. I 
It's working. It's working. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn it to the flat sides and this is the last step. So here we go. We'll do 20 each side again. Okay, that about does it. That puts me through the uh, steps as they've described in the booklet and DVD. That's a nice edge. That's a really nice edge. So just to show you the paper, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. I mean, again, this is my first time using it. And what I find with uh, blade sharpening systems is they typically get better with the blade sharpener's time and exposure, practice. So what are my thoughts on this Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker after the very first time I've used it? This thing is nice, I'll tell you. No oil, that's a big plus in my books. So you're not having to re reorder the oil. You're not making a mess. The cleanup's going to be a lot easier because you're not uh, dealing with that oil and it getting everywhere. This is nice, guys. I really, really like it. But overall, what I really like is the final product that I'm getting on that edge. And let's see if we can get up close enough here. You can hear it and you're going to see it in just a minute. And you can see it right there on the blade. No hair, gentlemen. This is nice. I really, really dig this system. For me, who is, shall we, shall we say, a sharpening challenged individual? We could say it that way, right? I think many of us are. Sharpening blades is not an easy thing to do. I've done it in the past by uh, you know using this this type of, of motion on something that I'm guessing the angle and you know what I started getting uh, to a point where I could pretty much get a razor sharp sometimes not all the times but sometimes this right here this eliminates the guesswork this is fantastic again for someone who's not really that good at it who's uh, inconsistent with the sharpening to pick this up the first time and get hair popping sharpness right out of the box. That's fantastic. You guys saw how I was abusing this knife too. You know, maybe I'll roll in some of that footage again. I was uh shaving the shaving the wood. I was cutting that cardboard and I went through a lot of cardboard. And for those that don't know, cardboard is extremely hard on a knife's edge. So for me to be able to bring that back in one, a relatively short amount of time, the other stuff that I've used in the past, it kind of takes a while to get to the edge that I want. This right here, that didn't take me long at all. That is very, very encouraging to me. So the only thing that remains that I can't test right now is overall use or I mean overall durability you know how long are these rods gonna last are they gonna last you know three months are they gonna last a year and obviously that's gonna be a lot on the individual owning it and how many and how much knives they're sharpening right but so far so good I'm telling you I'm digging this I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good knife sharpening system because the way that this is supposed to be used taking that blade straight up and down that's an easy easy angle for us to obtain and the way it's designed it takes that guesswork out of it and puts that angle on your knife for you I love it highly recommend it there you go